Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today, as promised, I'm doing a solo playthrough of Mercado de Lisboa. Already published a three-player game, a full three-player game on my channel a couple of days ago. I promised in that video I'm definitely have a look at the solo rules and the solo variant and that's what I'm going to do. Are you excited? I definitely am. Let's see how things go, shall we? Okay, and here we are again. That's the setup for the very first challenge of the so-called campaign of the solo rules in Mercado de Lisboa. Let's have a quick look what it is you are trying to achieve. In this so-called campaign, you are playing through nine different challenges. For basically start from one all the way down to nine. If you somehow make it to, <laughs> I don't know, 28 points or more, uh, fame points, then you will win. The problem now is this may sound like hey, 28, it's nothing. The problem now really is that I believe all of the cha challenges only give you one, two or three fame points, depending on how many actual scores or coins uh, you score in that given challenge. So let's say I'm playing the first challenge today, the specialist here. I In maximum, I can score three fame points if I make 100 coins. My first two training sessions, which I just did, I think the first one was around 40. The next one was better with 49. I wasn't even close coming to those 80 points. Of course, again, it's me playing very, very stupid as usual. But just to give you somewhat of a hint that this is really a challenge, at least the way I feel about it. Now will be my third time I'm playing this game. So I'm really curious about this. And I'm playing this first challenge because there are not a lot, a lot of um, rules changes to, to what it is you are countering in the multiplayer mode of the game. So in this case, you still start with one money. Um, you still get coins for restaurants. You can never take the pass action. So you cannot simply say, I take a coin. Of course, this would feel broken. The main thing with this first specialist scenario is you can only ever score with one type of stand. And that's the first stand you are scoring. That's the one yet you can get money from. You can still go for other stands and you can still uh, still place other customers but those other stands don't give you any money whatsoever so let's say you start with tomato like here and then it is tomato and if you don't get enough tomato stands or customers out there then yes you will definitely lose this one there is an additional bonus you can score make the best move ever so when once during your campaign if you with one move you score 32 coins you get two bonus things. 32 is quite a lot believe me and but that's that again apart from that all the other rules still apply again all some of the other scenarios change the look and feel uh, how you start or how you do the setup at the start of the game so let's say let's take the crowded mercado here um, it starts with a lot of customers already out there on the board for example so there's really a lot of different kind of challenges that you have to face and i think that's really a job very very nicely done Let's have a quick look at our starting stance and this is kind of telling you, especially for this scenario, what you are going to go for. Most likely we want to score flowers in this scenario um, because we already start with two flowers and there is one extra flower stand here waiting for us. And that's really insanely important getting more stands out there because you are still limited to the eight stands you have. So let's say you have to place tomato, tomato stand first just to make room to get another flower stand. Still, this stand is gone. Eight is what it is. On top of this, there are also, let's say, enough customers out there who also demand flowers. So basically in all the three um, or all four categories of customers or numbers of customers, we do have flowers. So I think overall, this could be a relatively okay starting point. We still start the game with one money. There are scenarios where you get two. I think there's even one with four as far as I, I remember. But in this scenario, you're simply starting with one. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game. In case you haven't watched my three player playthrough, I think I will explain you some of the core rules. The game is really simple. So you can, the rules do not lie. Five minutes to learn, 30 minutes to play. I think that's pretty fair, but it, it really has a lot of, especially this solo mode is a fantastic puzzle actually. 
Okay, the very first thing that we need to do is to place a stand because we don't have anything other to do. Apart from that, you could in theory print customers or open a restaurant in the solo mode. As I already mentioned, this fourth action take one coin is not allowed, would be pretty broken, as I already mentioned. Because we don't cannot bring any customers yet, there aren't any stands, we don't have any restaurants in our display. This also is not possible. The only thing really left to do is to open a stand. And again, spoilers, don't expect me to win this or get this one fame point out of this. So let's see, um, we want to place flowers. I think that's most likely. And flowers do want to be close to these tea houses, tea restaurants here, because they give us bonus points. So I think our very first stand will go in here. So what happens now is I can place it on any empty spot. And those are double sided, though there's a gray side and the more colored side. So this also counts as available. So if I want to place my restaurant here, I'm allowed to do that. On top of this, I will flip it to the other side, to the color and put it next to my player area. Then I have to place my stand token on top of it, really showing usually for the multiplayer game who, who owns this stand. And of course, I also need to pay. And you always pay at least one coin plus any um, extra coins for stands in the same row or column. And you always check where are the most. So let's say here would be another stand and here are zero. Then you look here, here are two stands in this row, which means I would have to pay two instead of only one. You always have to go for the higher figure. But again, I will explain those things later on as the scenarios do come up. I do have one coin, lucky me. So I will paid and that was already my first round the last thing to do is to refill and i think let's absolutely go for this flower stand i put these stands just here to remind myself i have to place them out in my very 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 first game multiplayer game i really forgot this so often then we had these stands and of course yeah usually you see oh and you do place that or you place that and yeah, it's that's why it, it really helps you to not forget we will from this enormous back here bring out a new stand so let's see what this is and wow that's incredibly lucky again in one of in both of my training sessions i wasn't being that lucky before so maybe the camera brings some good fortune here and i'm not rolling any dice i think that's also helpful okay well that was already the first round so let's quickly check this one here out um, in theory, we can could again open another stand, but we are out of money. We just spent our starting money, so we cannot do this. We could go for customers, that's possible, but now we do own a restaurant. We just grab this because we opened the stand. And placing a restaurant always gives you a coin, so I think that's what we want to do. And again, we want to place the stand next, uh, the restaurant next to our stand, because again, it increases the income of each adjacent stands. And adjacent really means orthogonally adjacent. Ha, huh. okay, and we get a coin, which was simply for placing the restaurant, you get a coin. You lose a coin for every restaurant you still have in your procession at the end of the game. And speaking about the end of the game, the game usually ends if there are only four spaces left for customers or four empty spaces here on the marketplace. And again, those face down restaurants also do count as available. Keep that in mind. Uh, there's also in multiplayer version another rule which, which says when everyone is passing in consecutively, then, then it's also the end of the game. And in this solo mode, it's also over when we can no longer place anything legally, which might happen sooner or later. I'm pretty sure about that. But this was already the second round, so game plays very quickly. And we don't have any money, so we cannot place any stands. We don't have any restaurants either. So yeah, let's not place any restaurants. So the only one thing left to do is to grab a customer. And I think in this case, does it matter? I think we want to go with this customer here. We need to place a customer who we could serve with at least one commodity or one, one food here food type he's looking for. So he wants flowers and tomato. Luckily, we just did build a flower stand. And now we can choose if we want to place this guy here or there or there or there. The only two things that really now need to be met or requirements that need to be met. First of all, uh, there must be at least um, one stand in this row because it's a one customer. There are two, three and four customer tiles. And yeah, guess what? In the three customer tile, there need to be three stands, not restaurants, really stands in this um, row or column 
where you place him. The next condition is that one of those requirements he has needs to belong to you. So in this case, I own at least one flower stand. So this was a perfectly legal placement. And now I get some rewards for this. So first of all, I will now be allowed to gain one coin for my stand and one coin for each adjacent, again, authentic adjacent matching restaurant. Matching in this case means it needs, this needs to be a tea house or this pub. Pub is a wild card. We can place the pub everywhere or it will benefit every stand on the board. Next, you multiply this amount here, those are the two, by the amount of customers. Unfortunately, only one. In this case, I simply made two coins and yeah, that's again the end of the round. But now I'm at three coins um, out of at least 80, right? That was to go for one fame point. Yeah, you see, you have to start slowly. But again, the good thing is I do have now matching restaurants, which is not a bad thing, actually. So I think this is definitely beneficial. So I think, huh, why not? Why actually not? Should we go for... Ha! Huh. We could now do something very tricky and not place the flower stand, but go for the grape stand here. I think this could work out to be okay. Let's try that. So we will place this uh, grape stand and we will place it here. So this simply gives us this pup here. I really wanted this pup being a wild card. So let's place our little stand token on and all the player pieces have different shaped um, forms. So they really have taken care of color blinds. At least in this case, it's really nicely done. I still have to pay one coin because again, we check the row or the column, only one stand. So that's the minimum price we have to pay. And then we have to refill. Oh, that's really great. Well, wow, three flower stands. I mean, this could be also backfire actually at some point in time, but I think I should be okay. That's a fish. And there is also a nice little special cases rule. Whenever you have three of the same tiles in front of you, you can do that at the start of your turn. Put them back or put them aside, three new tiles and put those tiles back. The same is true for those, which also opens you some tactical elements um, in order to really yeah, adjust the amount of tokens or the type of tokens you have. Um, in this case, I think I do want flowers, so I will not put them back into the bag. But overall, just to let you know. Next round. And I guess we want to place the, yeah, the pup here. Yeah, let's place the pup here. Doesn't really matter too much. Again, therefore, we get one coin because we placed the pup. Again, that's the end of the round. And I guess let's bring out a new flower stand, right? So we will place it here. Now we check again. This column is only one, but this row has now two restaurants, which means I have to spend two coins in order. But I get this yeah, hamburger restaurant here, which could serve me well. And now I do have to make a choice on which um, stand to refill. And in this case, I think I want to go for the tomato because there is a slight chance that I either get a new flower, which would be amazing, or maybe a third fish is coming out. And then I get to choose if I want to dump this offer and start all over again. So I think let's totally go for the tomato. Let's draw another tile and no we are not lucky but okay i will take it anyway so far really those tiles have been very very kind to me Whew. okay what to do next i still have this hamburger restaurant and i really want this tea stand up there the tea restaurant or whatever it is tea house so i think let's place the hamburger here therefore i get a coin no matter what i get this coin and i also get this tea stand again um next round and i guess let's place the tea stand right here again we are getting a coin for that nicely done and now as i have now three stands here uh three coins here sorry um and this flower stand i could now really do place another stand out there actually this would allow me to place a three customer tile. Maybe that's what I need to do, right? On the other hand, no, that's okay. I guess that's okay. So let's grab this one here and we place it here. 
So now again, we check this is one, but this is three. I have to pay three coins. But now we have a special scenario because there is already a matching customer. I can st score the stand right away. Fortunately, this is not adjacent to any uh, matching restaurants whatsoever. So it's only one coin because one coin here multiplied by one, that's one. But this also allows me to only play two coins instead of the three. And this is also a special case, even if you, I could have um, afforded to place that stand, this happens before I have to pay here. So that's that's very nice, tricky little rule. And I guess we still have to refill. I think let's go with those grapes. And you see, we are already running out of, we're already halfway through our tiles here. And I'm really not doing good, I guess. Again, it's the same problem. But let's see, we will refill and it's a fish. Okay, I take that. I think that's pretty great. We are moving into the next round. This is my offering here, which means I get to place them aside and I draw first. That's a really clever way of doing things. So I will not draw these three guys. Okay, here we have some meat. The meat wants to be next to hamburgers. Guess what? Here is and a tomato. Nothing I really do need, but again, there is another chance that I might get rid of this. And I'll put the fish back, give it a quick shuffle. And then we are really doing our actual round. And as I really need money, I, I'm down to only one coin. I think we have to start going for these three customers here. Oh, and that's another one, nice. And obviously we will place those three guys there. Again, we will score everything through. This is simple. Again, it's not adjacent, but we are now multiplying this by three, which means this stand alone gives us three coins. Nicely done. This one is much better. So here we get one, two, three, four, which means multiplied by three, that's 12, 12 coins. That's definitely something. That's not too shabby, but I'm pretty sure I will not go, come to 32 for this bonus. But we have a third stand here. He's also adjacent to one restaurant. So that's two times three, that's six more. So I think overall we just made, um, what is it? 12, 15, 18 coins. Again, that's really not terrible, but yeah definitely still far from the 32 but i will take it anyway okay let's go for another flower stand that's the last one but i think i still want to do that right yeah let's go for it we will place it and i guess we will put it here we only need to pay two coins there's nothing but here are two and again it's adjacent to one tea house that's at least something and again Again, I will go for this tomato here. So this already gives me something. And there is a chance we are drawing one more meat. And then we can wipe it at the start of our next round. And no, that's definitely not meat. So we are down to only three stands. We have 20 coins out of 80. Oh boy. I definitely still want to place another three customer tile. I really love to see a four customer tile. I only saw that once doing, I think I really played this game, game now numerous times and I still suck at it. Uh, again, it's so simple, but it's so deep and so brainy and thinky. It's wow, it's insane. Um, yeah, we want to place one restaurant here. We will not score for this restaurant, but that's still okay. We will go for this very one. Yeah, why not? place it here again this costs us one two three coins it's definitely a lot but we'll also gain some coins out of this so we'll spend three and a we are down to only two stands here so let's see we will we fill either now meat or a flower it's a flower so in theory we still have two stands so there is a chance we could bring out two of those but this is definitely the death sentence for our four customer tile. But that's okay. That's okay. I take it. It should be good to place another three customer tile now, right? Yeah, let's quickly do that. And I guess let's place those guys here. And I think now I might run out of options sooner or later, but that's okay. We are not scoring anything for this, but here we are still scoring one, two, three, four times. So that's another 12 coins. Again, that's not bad. That's really not bad. And here it's simply two times four. That's another six coins. 
Again, that's still not a terrible result, but we are running out of those customer tiles. That's my problem now, because in theory, we could still place a three customer tile, but neither of those do demand flowers. And that's really one of the placements, placement rules. Of course, I could go for this customer here because I do own a fruit stand up here in this row. Problem is it doesn't give me any money. So I think this doesn't really help me either. A quick check in between right now we are at 35 coins again out of 80 we need to achieve insane but we need to i think let's place another restaurant st uh, stand still and our best bet would be to place one here i guess right because then we still have two axes where we could place two customer tile or customer with two um tiles with two customers on it sorry for that um, but yeah, we are only having two more physical stands um, which we can build. So yeah, in this case, let's simply, I don't know, let's place this fish stand here. It doesn't really matter too much. We will get this sushi restaurant. That's at least something. And we have to pay, of course. Um, that's two coins. That's fine. Yeah, we'll have two. And of course, I nearly did forget to place my physical token on top of this. And last but not least, we have to refill and I will totally go for this flower stand. Let's see what we draw. And that's another fruit stand. Okay, we are down to only one physical stand, but we have a restaurant that definitely does help, gives us a coin. I think we can do a nice little chain reaction there, getting us whatever, five, six more coins or so. But that's about it. And I believe I did this one here incorrectly. I'm not not rules wise, but strategically, I think I should have placed this guy here instead of there. Now that I've already drawn, I will not take it back. But yeah, of course, here is the perfect spot for placing another of my stand tile. If I would go for a two tile here, I really this this restaurant would score me at least three points. So I think that was definitely not ideal. But yeah, live and learn. So we will uh, let's place. Hmm because then this doesn't, doesn't give me anything. But we will place it here anyway. That's our last stand we are placing, the last stand of the game, insane. We still have to pay one, two, three coins. It's definitely expensive. Um, we are not triggering any customers, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the problem. But wouldn't be, would be the same here. So let's pay those coins. We will refill, but it doesn't really change a thing now because we are run or oh, we don't have any physical stands left. So let's see what we draw another fish tile. But again, doesn't matter. We are down to 30 coins. Lovely. So we must now decide which customer to place. Again, the problem is there aren't any customers or tile with three customers who demand flowers. There are twos out there, but I think I could still still go for this for example because we do have fish or we could go for this doesn't really matter too much let's simply go with those guys and simply place those here again we can do that because we have fish even though we are not scoring anything we are still legally placing the customer tile here next we really do hope to see okay that's at least something um and we need those we really do need those okay that was not bad actually um then yeah let's definitely do that again so we will grab those guys ah curses 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 that's the wrong one Oh boy. So we really have to make it count. We will have to place those guys here. Again, we know the drill. Those are six coins, right? That's two times three. This is a little bit better. That's again the one, two, three, four. So that's another 12. Ah, that's okay. 12 are okay. That was definitely a good placement. And yeah, this one doesn't give us anything because yeah we own it but it doesn't they really do not want grape anyway so we just scored those i don't know what was it 18 18 coins or so which brings us now 40 48 okay i'm already relatively close to my top high score i like that and i can definitely place this restaurant here which will bring me to the 49 so i i might beat my high score that's <laughs> already something but of course, we can still place customer tiles out there legally. The problem is uh, here, this would have been so perfect getting a three here. 
but I think there is no real chance placing another three because I'm out of restaurants. That's really a bummer. This limitation with eight stands, that's brutal. It's really so, so brutal. And yeah, we had to place this, guys. Otherwise, I, I didn't have the like, right amount of money. I think, again, this might have been a mistake because if I would have placed it here, then this would score me some more points. It's not really a huge swing, maybe two, three points, but still, you want to optimize it as much as, much as possible. Um, hmm, yeah, I can only place two tiles or one tiles now. That's, that's really lame, guys, huh? It is. Okay, then let's go with a two customer tile down, I don't know, down here. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. That's two points. Of course, one multiplied by two, and that's four coins. So total, I netted six coins. So already I'm over my high score before. I like that. That's, that's definitely something, but I'm still very far away from the 80. Pretty sure about that. But we are not done yet. So let's see what new tiles. And that's again a bummer. None of those customers do want to have flowers. That's really a bummer. The thing is, I can still go with those. And yeah, I don't know. We'll place it here. Again, this is grapes, fruit. We do not score any coins for that, but still. I unlocked this customer tile here, which I can now legally place and score money for this. And I guess oops, we will place those here. Again, those are two. We have a stand here. We don't score anything for this. That's kind of a bummer. So here we simply score four points. So I would get a fiver and give one back, promise. And unfortunately, again, we do not have the right customer tiles out there. So I could still go for this grape here just to see what comes underneath, right? Yeah, let's go for it. Ah, still no. And I'm pretty sure if you would be more clever or cleverer than I am, you would know that maybe there aren't any two customer tiles out there with flowers, but we could place those guys legally here too. We will not score any points. And unfortunately, we still didn't unlock another set of flowers for that. So we could do the same thing again somewhere else. Maybe do we still have to? No, we don't. We really don't. So the only row we still have where we could place a two is actually here. And we do know there is no legal, or there is a legal tile, I guess, but it doesn't provide me any money. So I have to hope for once now, actually, which is really lame. So I think we are really coming now to the end of the scenario here. And again, not doing exactly great. So yeah, let's go with this one here. Does it matter? Yeah, that's pretty much one multiplied by two. Again, for this adjacent ratio, that's two more coins. I mean, I take those. We'll not complain about this. But now it's really crucial what's coming out here. And okay, um, but can we still place it legally? Or do we get something out of this? I think we get one coin or so for this tile. Yeah, but I think I take the coin. I mean, we have to be careful because the game will also end when there are four of those tiles available after I place and we check. But yeah, I think that's okay. And in this case, I think it automatically ends because in the multiplayer version of the game, all the other players still get a turn. In this case, there aren't any other players. So when I end it, it's over. So yeah, let's simply do that again. Does it matter? We could place her here. It doesn't give me any extra money. Same is true here. Same is true here because they are not adjacent to anything that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we will do it here again. We will score a coin for this restaurant or for this stand here. And another quick check, we are at 61 coins. I'm again, I'm pretty happy about this result, but I will not make it. That's for sure. Maybe we make it to 65 or so now. But yeah, it is what it is. The so next problem now is that again, there aren't any customers who want flowers, but I think we could still place someone somewhere else maybe. So let's take, oh no, we can't actually. No, I think that's kind of over because here we could only place a customer with flowers. There aren't any stands in this row. Same is true here. Same is true there. Here are 
here aren't any stands maybe that was already a problem too so i guess oh no here we could do that so here we still have berries or grape okay that's still okay so we could try to get at least another point so let's place this one here problem is you see it for yourself again no flowers but i think we can do the same thing again we still have him he will go in here again we are not scoring any parts but we can reveal another time <laughs> yes, obviously, that's not really that. So in respect to customers, we cannot place legally. But we still have one restaurant, a sushi restaurant. So what we are doing now, we are placing this one here. This gives us a coin. We flip it. Nice. Then we do the same thing again. We place this one here. We get a coin. <laughs> it's a pretty lame, I know. And we get this one here. Next thing, we will do this. Same thing. We get a coin. We get the restaurant. Then we do the same thing here. We get a coin. We're now at four. And we get a restaurant. We still have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's still enough. Then we do it like here. Here we again. We place the restaurant. We get a restaurant. We get a coin. We, we got five coins out of this. That's not bad. And then I think we do it one last time. Place it here. Get a sushi restaurant. Get a coin. And now we had one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's still good enough. And then last but not least, we will place the last sushi restaurant for yet another coin. And yeah, really, really boring but i think i take it anyway that brought us seven more coins not terrible but again it only brought us to 68 coins in total i'm pretty sure i have messed a lot of things up i have forgotten things and played it terribly but i'm pretty happy with the result here so this is really really a nice puzzle game i'm pretty sure when you play it five six more times then you will find your way through overall you're still a little bit dependent on what you're drawing what tiles come out in which order and whatnot but overall it's really on you to decide where to place your stands when to place a restaurant and where to place your customers and i'm pretty sure i didn't do that well in any way Anyway, I still hope you did enjoy my little playthrough, my solo playthrough of Mercado de Lisboa. Again, the solo mode is more puzzly than the multiplayer mode, where it is also puzzly, but there you can really look for opportunities, how to make sure you're getting points when someone else is playing customer tiles and things like that. This is a little bit different here, but still really, really, really a hell of a lot of fun. And on top of this, keep in mind, there are really a lot of different um, scenarios or challenges in this one here. So here we only needed 30 coins. Maybe I should have done this, but this is much difficult. The thing is here, we only have four customers in total. <laughs> Four customers and that's it. Um, one of each, one, two and four customers. And these are the only ones that are available to you. Here we start with two coins, hey hooray. But here you have to really make sure you're placing the restaurants in the right order. Because of course you can only score those customer tiles when you meet both of the, their requirements, for example. So that's really something where you have to think even one dimension ahead more. It's, it's really, really crazy. And again, all these challenges play out um, somewhat differently. And yeah, that's Mercado de Lisboa using one of the solo challenges. I have learned that the campaign is about to start on September 3rd. So definitely watch out for this. And yes, I will definitely update my descriptions here. You will find a link to the campaign once it's live for sure i will put it onto my social media and whatever it is so yes you will definitely find out when this game is actually start launching on kickstarter a huge shout out to all of my patrons really appreciate your support like and subscribe everything helps and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye